And then there was a second portion to, to how Klaus Kanner was influential in that the, my main instrument was piano, but I did play a lot of harmonica, and there weren't enough pianos to go around. I mean, you can only have a, a certain amount of pianos in a room, right? They're hard to, difficult to cart around. So I had a harmonica in my pocket. I took uh, Jeff Warshower's, uh, I think it was a Hasidic Nugunim class, something like that. And, uh, and I had a harmonica and I, I was very shy. I mean, I wasn't going to sit there while all the violinists were getting the melody right away or all the clarinets were getting these melodies right away. So I kind of found a corner, remembered the melody, sat in a corner in some other room and worked on it. Uh, and... Um, and and that that's where I really started to realize I can play other things. I can play things other than blues on the on the diatonic harmonica. And uh, I, I guess uh, from there it was kind of a, 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 a like a kind of a launching pad to 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 trying to figure out how to play many different things on the diatonic harmonica, whether it be Jewish music, whether it be jazz, whether it be bluegrass, whether it be I don't know Turkish music. <laughs> 